A man and a woman come into a sexual intercourse. Because the woman is originally a cistern, emotionally, she has a storage for emotional energy. See how it works so that you can understand this very well. A woman stores emotional energy. A woman stores it. A man disperses emotional energy. You see what is going on? A woman stores and a man disperses. So how does it work when they come into a sexual situation? What happens when they come into a sexual situation is that the moment a man and a woman come together, the emotional energy of the man begins to pour into the storage facility of the woman which is located in the regions of the soul. Every woman, every woman on earth has an emotional storage facility that is located in the regions of their soul. The moment copulation happens, the man begins to dump that emotional energy and that emotional energy becomes a representation of that man, of that being in the woman. And so, as he is dumping that in that woman, the woman is also sprinkling on him. Because the woman has water in her storage. So the only way the man gets refreshed is when the woman sprinkles her own emotional energy on the man. So, for the woman, she does sprinkling. For the man, he does what? He does depositing. So, you carry, as soon as you're done with that activity, you are carrying a bit of this man by virtue of his emotional energy. It lives inside of you permanently. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays there in your storage facility. And then the sprinkled one you have on the man becomes like an odor, like a, an, a, some type of uh, fragrance all around him. And it smells. It also creates some type of cloud that he moves around anywhere he goes. You smell spiritually. The smell of that woman's emotional energy is around the man wherever he goes in the spirit. So you see, both of you are carrying each other. And this is exactly how soul tie is initiated. You know why? Because that emotional energy from Mr. A that has been deposited inside Sister B actually becomes Mr. B, Mr. A inside of Sister B. So Sister B is walking around carrying Mr. A with her wherever she goes. And Mr. A is moving around the whole place smelling of Sister B wherever he goes in the spirit. And so just imagine, you have finished having this sex with this Mr. A. And then the next minute, you have sex again with Mr. C. And then the next minute, you have sex again with Mr. D. Guess what happens? Each and every one of them have got their emotional deposits inside of you. So, and these emotional deposits actually translate to personalities of these people. You are carrying them with you all over, wherever you go. But here is what happens that will shock you. For you to know that this is true. If you have been through relationships, you will notice that most often than not, when you just meet people, relationship often goes well. Everything is going so well. But the moment you get involved in, a, in some type of sexual intercourse with them, shortly after that, you guys are going to start having so many crises. Trouble will just break from nowhere. A lot of a lot of crisis. I mean, quarrel, misunderstanding, and all kinds of stuff. Why is it happening that way? Do you know why that happened? Remember, you've already had sex with Mr. A, and you had sex with Mr. C. When Mr. C was coming to have sex with you, he's about to make a deposit inside the facility, and this is a living being that is coming to live inside of you. And so when he comes to leave, the moment he makes entry and comes into that storage facility, which is in your soul, a new soul tie has been established. 
So what happens is that the soul tie that was there already begins to combat this new soul tie. It begins to fight it. And in fighting it, it translates into serious misunderstanding and quarrels between you and Mr. C, whom you just met. Before you had sex with Mr. C, everything was going on so well because your soul time with Mr. A had not been broken. It is still there. So Mr. A could actually wake up any moment and call you up and then you will remember all the times you had with him and probably fall for him. That's why men always believe that once they've had sex with you, they can always come back to you. And the witness is always there. Once you've had sex with a woman, if this thing is not taken care of, you can call up on her anytime and she will just, as soon as she hears your voice, boom, that emotional being of you living in her will be activated immediately and the woman will immediately begin to fall for you again. Even if you have not seen her for so many years, because you live in her and she smell and you smell of her too. You live in her. That's what happens. So when a new person is met, you meet another Mr. D and you want to go and have sex. Everything is going good before sex, going so well. But the moment you go into sexual intercourse, a new soul tie is established. And the moment that happens, the other souls that are living, the other emotional energies inside of you will begin to combat the emotional energy of Mr. D that had just made entry into your storage facility. And then immediately again, you start fighting with Mr. D for no reason. You just can't tell why. You can't put a finger on it. But you're just fighting with him. Why are we fighting? You can't tell. Because the emotional energies that were already inside of your storage facility have not been expelled before you brought in another one. So now you see, you are having a chain of so ties inside one emotional storage facility in your soul. Soul ties are spreading. All the 15 men you've slept with, you have initiated soul ties with all of them. Every single one of them. You are a slave to all of them. Even if you force yourself to get married to any man, eh? those guys still have that emotional authority over you because they live inside of you. This is why so many women get married and they are still drawn to their past relationships. They still see, you see them running back to the man they dated some years back. Some ladies will go back to different men they've dated. They just want to keep on going back to have sex because it is sexual intercourse that brought about this emotional soul tie. So you can't concentrate in your husband's wife, in your husband's home because you have already initiated soul tie with every, listen, every moment you have sex, a soul tie is initiated. Every minute you have sex, a soul tie is initiated. You know why? Remember where the Bible says, for this reason shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. What was the Bible talking about when it said cleave? It is get bonded with your wife in the soul. It's a soul tie. In other words, the sexual intercourse, by virtue of everything we have read in the scripture, sexual intercourse is actually, in reality, a proper legalization of marriage beyond what you go to do in the court. It is sexual intercourse that legalizes marriage. So when you have sex with someone, you get married to them. Having sex with a woman or a man means you are married to them. That's why their spirit, their soul, emotional energy gets deposited inside of your emotional storage facility, which is located in your soul. Why did the Bible say that he who sleeps with a prostitute is one in body with the prostitute? Just think about that. Why? Why? Because you get married to the prostitute the moment you sleep with that prostitute. Sexual intercourse is a legalization of marriage. So you sleep with anybody, you get married to them. That's what it means. And they carry you with them wherever they go. If you're a man and if you're a woman, you smell the whole emotional energy of you is on the man. The man takes it wherever. This is what happens when you are married to somebody. You are so loyal to your wife. Both of you are together. You're already sharing this thing. 
Let's say, for instance, that there is nothing. Let's say you even met your wife as a virgin or something, right? And you're married to your wife. And you guys are keeping to each other, loyal to each other. And then somehow, somehow, someday, you just walk out there and you go and indulge in sexual immorality. You know what has happened? You have taken a, a, a part of you, which is your emotional energy, and invested, deposited it in somebody's, in another woman's emotional storage facility in the soul. And that woman has also sprinkled on you her own emotional energy. So you smell of the woman in the spirit. And so the moment you meet your wife, your wife will easily tell if she is a spiritually sensitive person. It doesn't even have to be sometimes in marriage. It could even be like someone you're really close to in some type of relationship. This is what happens. So that's how so tie is initiated. So tie for the woman and so tie for the man.